This unit is the perfect beginner wig, the perfect lazy girl wig. So I'm gonna lift it up so you guys can see that it's glueless. I'm gonna put it down. And then I'm also gonna do the rat tail comb test. Scratch next day. Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. If you are new here, then welcome. If you are not new here, then welcome back. Today we have another Unice wig. Now this is another one of their Bye Bye Knot wigs. You guys did see me do a previous video on a Bye Bye Knot wig. This time it is the body wave texture. Now the other one came with edges. This one also came with edges. I also got a new goodie that I really, really like. This like fancy looking mirror. I've never gotten that before. From the Unice gift so I feel like they're upgrading their stuff because this is really cute I actually ended up putting this in my bag like right after I unboxed the wig I also received the standard gifts which is lashes and edge band the wig caps and then of course a brush as you can see right here I don't know if you guys can see but it says that the wig is 24 inches now this is just me unboxing it and I am gonna say this I am guilty of opening the wig and looking at it before we did do the video so that's why the cat part was a little bit messed up I'm sorry I had to take it out and look at it because a body wave wig that comes pre-bleached with edges like are you serious of course i had to look at that now look at the shine and luster on that hair the hair was definitely true to length and then look at how well they crafted the hairline it's crafted in a way that it looks natural how it is but if you want to pluck it more you can however i chose not to for this video like i did with the other bye bye knot wig just to show you can really install this fresh out the box you guys saw by the look of the inner cap it does have the adjustable elastic band and it does have the grip lining all around so this wig is fully secure and then you can see how natural it looks when it was like on my hand now this is just me showing you more of the wig you can see that there's not a single knot inside just looking from the inside of the wig the cap construction is beautiful it is that breathable mesh cap that i love so you don't really have to keep it on for a long time and if your head starts itching you you can reach in and you know scratch your head <laughs> i just like doing that but i'm gonna take my even lace tint in the color medium dark brown and i'm gonna carefully spray that all over the lace i don't want to spray too much because then you know it is liquid so if i spray too much it's gonna seep onto the hair then i have to wipe the hair off which isn't it doesn't take a long time to do but i had class in 20 minutes so i was trying to get this done as soon as possible i ended up making it in time but I like to do these on a time crunch just to show you that you really can install this wig fresh out the box. And you can install this wig with a limited amount of time. So after I put it on, it's already looking natural. Now the edges came molded, but I did end up going over them with mousse because I don't like my edges that far down. But they come pre-cut just to make sure that you have the edges. You don't have to wear them how they come. You could do something else. I chose to do something else with them just to keep them up more and do the way that I like. But right here, I'm going to take my she is bomb wax stick and i'm just putting that all over the hair on the parts that i want flat i do want this to lay down as if it were an actual install but you know it's not an actual install and you can see from me brushing the wig is eight inches across and then five inches going back which means you can do some frontal styles with this wig so don't get me wrong you could do half up half downs you could do a whole lot of stuff you just don't have those last um two inches at the sides two inches at each side which is like you don't have those last four inches that make up the full frontal but it is eight inches so you can do as you will with that information it is it's a lot like it is a lot it does give a full frontal effect it is to me it's practically a frontal and then five inches of parting space going back there are so many hairstyles you could do on this wig i didn't have enough time to do one today but if you guys want a video of me styling this wig, I definitely would do one. Like how to style an 8x5 closure. I feel like that's something that would be beneficial. So just let me know and I definitely will try and make one. I'm using the same mousse that I always use in all my videos, the BNB Coconut Foam Mousse. And then I'm just taking my edge brush and I'm lightly going over the edges until I get the look that I want. Now, I've always tried to figure out how to get my edges like this, and I never really knew how. I guess you do have to cut them longer to kind of get that, like, straight line swoop. And y'all saw me lift the wig up. That's how you know there really is no glue, no spray, no nothing. Because I didn't like how far up it was, so I just decided to move it down a little bit more. But I'm just swooping that until I get the look that I want. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, literally, just to make sure that they're even.
Now it's time for one of my favorite parts, layering. Now before, I sucked at layering and then with practice I did get better. But I feel like a body wave wig cannot be complete without layers. I mean, unless you're gonna crimp it. But if you wanna do like the bombshell curl style like me, you definitely do wanna cut some layers into your wig. I did not hold back with cutting these layers. I was like, yup, I am gonna cut it. Cause the wig was very full. Like even after I cut the layers, the wig was very, very full. I'm using my Fantasia heat protectant spray and I'm just spraying that all over the hair. Now it does look like it's weighing down the hair at first, but I promise you it's not. It actually is just coating the hair. When I actually use the curling iron, it's not gonna like show up that much, if that makes sense. And that heat protecting spray has never failed me. It also helps my hair to curl a lot better. Before I curl the front section, I do like to just um, cut it right before I curl it, just a little bit more after I separate it to make sure I know how it's gonna look. And then I'm going over and I'm curling that away from my face and just wrapping that around until I get a perfect barrel. These are kind of like barrel curls. I don't know. I don't really know the different curling techniques, but I know like you guys can have a clear view of what I'm seeing by the way that I filmed this. So after I did that, I am just going to, you know, keep it like that for about 10 seconds and then I'm actually going to let the barrel go. And after I drop it, that's what it looks like. I think that's a barrel curl. I'm not sure. But I'm doing the exact same thing on each section without the layering. I only layered the front. I don't really know how to layer like the entire wig yet. I am going to try and learn. But so far doing the front alone has worked for me to get the same look. So you don't have to cut it if you don't want to. This is just what I like to do to really give the wig that extra effect. And then when I'm done, I'm going to comb that backwards with a wide tooth comb because you don't want to brush out your curls. And look at how gorgeous that one side looks after I let it lay down. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. At this point, I had like six minutes left until I was supposed to leave out the door and like go to class. I was already dressed. The only thing was that I just had to finish my hair. So I don't know why I like to do these on a time crunch, like I said, just to really give you guys an idea that you can do this in an hour. Shoot, you can do this in 30 minutes if you really want to. You can do this on a time crunch and fresh out the box if you need to. These wigs are perfect for my beginners and that is literally everything that I did to customize this wig and get it exactly how I wanted to. And now we're gonna actually break down the different components of the hair, you know, do my little discussion, so yeah. Okay, you guys, so this is what the finished install looks like. I know I'm very pleased with the results. The wig is 24 inches going all the way down, so you do know it is a very long. This hair is gorgeous. I'm gonna just give you guys a side view and then show you guys exactly how much it comes down. It comes down quite a bit. The wig is 24 inches. It is very full in length, nothing wrong with the length. Five inches going back and then eight inches all across. If you guys have been walking like in the wind and then you know your closure just starts doing this and everybody knows you have a closure on. With this wig, that's not gonna happen because it gives the frontal effect. So it has all the benefits of a frontal, but you can wear it glueless and it is not a frontal, which is what I love. This is the Unice Hair Bye Bye Knots wig. Now, the key part of this is that there are no knots. And I'm gonna come a little bit closer. And I'm gonna come closer so you guys can see there are no knots in sight. The company actually takes the time to get rid of all the knots for you, which is why it's called the invisible or bye-bye knot technique. Bleaching is one of the hardest things for beginners to do. Also, bleaching is time consuming. Even as a creator myself, I don't like to bleach my wigs. It just takes so much time. So this is perfect for those who just wanna really install a wig fresh out the box. Like if you have an event and you wanna install your hair fresh out the box, you can definitely do that. The hair curled so, the hair curled very well. And as you can see, I did some like bombshell -esque layers. I don't know, but I really do like the hair. This wig, like this just gives fall. And then the thing is you can install it fresh out the box just like I did. All you need is a little bit of lace tint. I always recommend lace tint. It's the easiest way for me and it doesn't make my lace um cakey with my glueless installs. And that's it. So I'm going to lift it up so you guys can see that it's glueless. I'm going to put it down. And then where is my rat tail comb? 
and then I'm also going to do the rat tail comb test. And then the lace is so thin that you can see the rat tail going up. And it just melts beautifully into my skin. This unit is the perfect beginner wig, the perfect lazy girl wig, the perfect I don't have time to go to the hairdresser and I just want to get my hair done fresh out the box wig. The hair is still full, still true to length, and still gorgeous. If you guys like this video as well as the Unite's Hair Bye Bye Knots collection and you want to check out more, they have it in other textures, so please check down below as well as look in my entire playlist because I think I, I am going to put another recommended video of me trying out another Invisible Knot wig because this is my second one. The first one was curly and I absolutely loved it, so... If you want to check out more from you nice hair, make sure you go look in that description box. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I have class in two minutes, so 